and today we're going to be upgrading the EFI on this 2006 Mac Pro from 1.1 to 2.1. Now, why the bugger would you want to do that? Well, first of all, sometimes when you put in a quad-core processor, it will not show on the operating system that you've changed processors. It will just say processor unknown. So this will give the ability to see that. It will also increase the stability of the system and I'm also informed that if you need to go to 64 gigabytes of memory this process will need to be done. So let's go to the desktop and see how we do it. Right here we are at the desktop and before we start this process there are a few things you must make sure. First of all make sure you're using a operating system that is supported natively uh, by the system such as Tiger. If you're using things like Al Capitan you're going to have issues with this process. Also make sure you've got official, officially supported CPUs uh, in the system because again that can cause problems if you've got the unofficial ones and put back the original video card because if you've got any upgraded video cards that could also cause issues during this process. Right, to do this, we need to download two pieces of software. The first one is from netcast.org. I shall put a link to this page in the description. And we're downloading the Mac Pro 2006-2007 firmware tool.zip. So just click on that one. Once it's downloaded, drag it to your desktop. And the second one is from Apple themselves. That's the Mac Pro EFI Firmware Update 1.2. Even though it says 1.2, it is the 1.1 to 2.1 firmware update. So just download that. And drag that to a desktop. Right, next thing we're going to do is to run both of these programs. So if we open that one. That's the file itself. We can get rid of the zip file, we don't need that. And we can run this piece of software. It's going to fail, but we need it to be opened anyway. So if just put upgrade to 2007 software, you'll have to put your password in. <coughs> And you'll see it eventually comes up with an error. The program has encountered an error, 5530. Basically, this means uh, that it can't find the files it's trying to download at Apple's site because they've changed the location of them, which is what's causing all these issues, which is why I have to go to a much more complex thing to do this now. So just leave that running, and we have this RAM disk here, which is what we're after. So uh, the second one, open the uh, the Apple software, the Mac Pro firmware update. That will open a package file, open the package file. And it will tell you this computer does not need this update. So we just leave that running there. So what we're going to do is go up to the Mac Pro 2006 tool, right click it, show package contents. And it's appeared under there. So go to contents, resources, and you'll see in here there are two, sorry, three shell files and two patch files. If you select all of them, drag them onto the RAM disk. Close that, open up the RAM disk. And you'll see the files in there. So what we need to do is edit this extract and patch file .sh. So if you just right click and open, it should open in a text editor at some time. What we need to do now is remove some lines. So the first one is this HDI util attach no browse da 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 da. Get rid of that one. It will ask you if you want to unlock the file. So unlock it. The next ones are rm dash r expanded rm dash r system and rm payload so just highlight and get rid of them 
that is us finished with editing that so if we just close that that will save it and that is done so we close that window close that just keep it tidy right next thing we need to do is go to applications utilities and open the terminal we now need to change the directory to the RAM disk so if at this point you type CD space slash and then CD volumes and then CD RAM disk so I mess that up CD RAM disk you can now type some commands and uh, run these shell programs. So the first command we need to type is, there's only two of them to do, is full stop, forward slash, extract, and patch, efi files dot sh. And it should look something like that. Don't worry about it saying detach failed there. That's not relevant. Uh, the second one, is sudo space full stop forward slash upgrade efi 2006 to 2007 dot sh password put in your password and it is done not done completely but it is done so, once that's done, you need to shut this off, close all these, and then just shut down the system. And I'll show you what to do once it's shut down. Okay, once the system is shut down, if you press and hold the power button until you see it rapidly flashing. There we go. And what you hear next is a beep. There we go. And the normal chimes. It will start up and eventually this drawer will open, which is an indicator that it is up doing the updates. And there's the drawer open. So this will continue to load. That will shut in a moment. There we go. System will now reboot and load into the operating system. And I shall join you once it's booted. Right, we are back at the desktop. And if we go up to the top left about this Mac, uh, more info. It's running slightly slow because it's uh, doing the screen capture at the same time. System report. And you'll see we are now on Mac Pro 2.1. There we go. Successful. If it isn't showing your processor, again then reboot and it should show uh, you may have to do it a couple of times it's usually only once to get that sorted so there you go you're now on the mac pro 2 comma 1 if you've got any questions about the process then please leave them uh, in the comments beneath if you like these sorts of videos then please like this video and consider subscribing if you do subscribe please hit the notification bell you can join us on Twitter and Facebook, and if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so very kindly through Patreon. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>